Oh my gosh, is this a $7 artisanal latte? No way, 50 cents of frugal magic. Wow. Today, we are revolutionizing your coffee game without blowing your budget. We are going to brew some coffee using only a mason jar, a tea strainer, and a hand blender. It's minimalism meets coffee addiction. If you're new here, I'm Ange, and this is Sporty. Welcome to Mostly Mindful, where we encourage Gen Xs and beyond to live simply and age with intention. All right. Gather around, because we're about to blow your minds with the ultimate mason jar coffee hack. Behold, our weapons of mass production. <laughs> <laughs> and she's only had one coffee so far. First, we need coffee grounds. And remember that the fancier the name, the more your wallet's going to cry. Yes. But you can't get rubbish coffee, because then your taste buds are going to cry. You have to find a happy medium. Next, put, put coffee in mason jar. How much depends on you. We do four spoons for two of us because we like quite strong coffee. You, you're going to pour water in the jar and, and I'm going to show them close up what it looks like. Okay, go. I put on how much? Five minutes, let's go. Yes. It's best to cover the jar with something, you know, to keep the heat in. Yes. So after the five minutes, you're going to swirl it like you're making a caffeinated spell. And then after that, we're going to pour it. Yeah, so there's two ways that you can do this. This is way number one. And we're going to show you from the top because it looks so great when you pour it. Method number one. Liquid gold. Who needs a $200 an espresso machine? Exactly. Now you can see there, all foamy and deliciousness. The proof is in the coffee pudding. Mmm. Okay, so that's one way. We like to drink our coffee black, but then now watch this. You get some milk. We like oat milk and we like butternut because it's our favorite local brand. These guys are awesome. Yeah. Huge shout out to them. They recently started making rusks as well. If you don't know what a rusk is, it's like, it's like a burra bis biscotti. <laughs> so it's a biscotti, but it's a thick one like this. So they, they make it like bread and then they, they score it and then they put it in the oven for long at a low temperature and then it's crunchy. And you can dunk it. Go. Option two is you just put milk in the cup and then you and then you pour coffee. Watch what happens. Mm. That's so good. But now let's say you want frothy fancy like Starbucks coffee. Then you do the whole other level. You get a blender jug. I really see it goes lighter in colour when the, the mock's frothed up. Okay, it's my turn for a sip. How amazing does that How look? How amazing. We'll get another close-up over here. We are being such foodie klutzes this morning. <laughs> oh, no, you can. Can I have a sip? Take a sip. It's such a treat because we don't do this for ourselves. Because we, we have in the mornings what we call business coffee. So we, we have the coffee because it helps us wake up and that kind of thing. So we don't make a, like a ritual of it, which we actually should. Should I, should I sprinkle some cinnamon on top? Yes. What, what we should have done is cut out a little star out of a piece of cardboard and put a star on there for, for, for Angela's um, award for making best coffee of the year. So as you saw, we didn't just make coffee. We made a frothy masterpiece. Oh my God. And there you have it. 
Barista style coffee for pocket change and options for every taste level. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay, well, we shall see you in the next video. And before we leave you, can we please ask you to hit the subscribe button? Um, share? Share? Yes, sharing is good. Leave a comment when you think about this kind of coffee. Will you make it at home? Click the notification bell so you know when we post more comment. Content. Yes. But I mean we might post. <laughs> we do post comments. <laughs> we post comments sometimes. <laughs>